Okay guys, Tuesday, 28th of April. We've got a very nice session lined up for you guys today. We're gonna to do a two-piece AMRAP. So it's gonna be working with a dumbbell, hot object, or kettlebell again with some double unders or single skips, rest, and then completing the same. Then we're gonna recover a bit and then we're gonna end off with a nice midline or core finisher. Okay, for today's warm up, what we are looking for is the following. We're gonna go through three rounds. You guys are gonna start off by doing some pogo jumps. So we're gonna try to warm up your calves and warm up your ankles for all the skipping that we're gonna do today. So get your feet underneath your hips, like you would if you're skipping. We're gonna be jumping straight up and down for 20 of those. Remember to roll onto the ball of your foot, to the front of your foot, and be jumping from there. Then you guys are gonna grab, grab a piece of equipment and we are gonna go for six high pulls. This is a slow and controlled movement. So I'm gonna high pull six times with my right arm, then with my left arm, keeping in mind that the bottom, the eccentric part, so going down is the most important part of this movement. So we'll go six, six, then we'll go for the opposite. Then we're gonna press up six times. Slowly down, control it, one head of the dumbbell on my shoulder, I'm going to go for six on the right and then I'll do six on the left as well. Okay, so that's priming your upper body. And then the final one, we're just going to loosen up the calves a bit. So you guys are going to go into a high plank position. And from there, I'm just going to step up my calves for 30 step outs. Again, making sure that our calves and ankles will be ready for all the double unders that we're going to do today. Let's quickly run through that warm up and we'll get you guys back here for the workout. Let's get into today's workout. So what we're gonna do for today's workout is a seven minute AMRAP, then you guys are gonna rest for three minutes, and then we're gonna do another seven minute AMRAP. What we're looking for here, like we usually do, is just a consistent pace throughout. So we're looking for you guys to find a rhythm, a slightly uncomfortable rhythm, and trying to stick to that for as long as possible. So it's not a stop-start type of workout. When we talk about intensity, it just means we're taking as little rest as possible, but be moving with perfect mechanics. Okay, so if you guys have a dumbbell, the workout is going to look like this. Dumbbell onto the shoulder, you're gonna do 10 left arm push presses. So I'm gonna do a small little dip, keep my torso upright, drive right next to my ear. I'm gonna do 10, then I'll change arms. I'm gonna do 10 on the right side. And then I'm gonna go for 50 double unders or 100 single skips. If you don't have a skipping rope, we can do 30 lateral jumps over your piece of equipment. And you pick up again, and we start the round over to see how many reps we can do in seven minutes. If you guys are using an odd object, um, we're gonna change it up slightly. Instead of working one shoulder at a time, you guys are just gonna be alternating across for 20 reps. So you guys will take the odd object, and from there, you're just gonna dip, Drive that over there, bring it up to the other shoulder, and we're gonna keep going just like that for your 20 reps. That's gonna be the first part of today's workout. Then you guys will rest for three minutes. You should recover well, pretty not fully, but you should recover well in the three minutes. And then we're gonna to go to the next part, which is gonna be very similar, except we're gonna move away from pressing and we're gonna start doing some pulling movements. So you guys will grab your dumbbell, same rep scheme, we're gonna go for 10 hand cleans with the left arm. So from here, onto my shoulder, just getting the one double head onto my shoulder. I'll do 10 chain sides, and I'll do 10 on the other side. I'll put my dumbbell down, and I'll either do my double unders, single unders, or my lateral jumps over. If you guys are using a hot object, we're gonna go for the same as in the first workout. So pick up the hot object, from there, we're just gonna go shoulder to shoulder for 20 reps. Finisher is probably gonna be, in my opinion, the most challenging part of our session. Um, it's gonna be three rounds. It should take you guys anything from eight to 10 minutes of 20 hollow rocks. Then we're gonna go for a 30 second side plank on each side, and then we're gonna do 20 dead bucks. So it's a nice core or midline finisher. The key here is doing it perfectly and doing it slowly. If you rush through movements like a dead bug, it's not going to be effective and you're not going to work the muscles you want to work. Okay, so let's get started. First one, you guys are going to lie down for me. We're going to go into a good hollow body position. So I'm bringing my chest off of the ground, making sure there's no gap. 
I'm lifting up my feet slightly, and from there, I'm just gonna rock up and down for 20 hollow rocks. You guys can put your hands to your side. We can even bend one leg, and eventually, bend both is also fine. We'll go for 20 of those, breathe, relax, and then go straight into a side plank for 30 seconds on each side. So I'm gonna lift up, make sure everything's in a straight line, and I'm gonna hold for 30 seconds, then I'll change sides, and I'll hold for 30 seconds on the other side as well. If you guys wanna modify the side plank, we'll go for that same movement, and we're just gonna drop the one knee. So we can drop one knee, we can drop both knees, just trying to keep your midline, your upper body off of the ground. Again, 30 seconds on each side. And then the last one, probably the one that's going to burn the most, is going to be 20 dead bugs. So you guys will lie down. Again, hollow body position. Bring up your legs so my knees are right above my, my hips, hands right above my head. And from there, I'm going to work opposite leg, opposite arm. So I'll go down slowly, keeping my chest up. Bring it up slowly, change sides. Okay guys, the most important part is keeping your chest off the ground and not ending up doing this. Okay, we want to work from here and from there we can work nicely all the way down and all the way up. We're going to go through three rounds. That's going to be it for our session today. Remember to add your scores for the workout and then please comment on the finisher. Let us know what you struggle with the most what burnt the most and what you enjoyed. See you guys tomorrow.